Hi Libra, welcome to your past life reading for couples. And this is the life after the retrograde specials. Let's take a look. What are your karmic debts? What are the things that you have to know from the past? If you've all been met your soulmate. Why is it that your life path is like this? And what are your missions in life? And what are the things that you still have to know from the past? In order for you to fully move on. Let's take a look. Actually, let's take a look. Where did who did you meet vows to? Okay, it's someone that you used to, that you used to be married to. You had some children. Okay, you were actually born with an impaired hands or limbs or part of your body and you were um you were once a victim of polio when you were younger but it's but despite of this it did not really stop you from healing other people and from health from helping other people to find some cure because you were gifted with so much wisdom and knowledge when it comes to um in it when, when it comes to the field of medicine or in the aspect of health but the problem here is you were married to somebody who's from UK or um, Eastern part of Europe and you have vowed to you know to help out other to help out more people but you have neglected your own family's needs and you've also neglected your own kids just for the uh, you know just for the uh, pursuance or for the um, for your mission to help out other people and your spouse have threatened you that if you will leave then you will never ever see your kids anymore aside from this you feel like you're not really happy and contented with the marriage that you're in because it, it is more of a one-sided thing that you're the one who keeps on sacrificing most of the time in your marriage and you feel like you can't really stay in a in a relationship that is only one-sided and that you want to help out more people um, instead of just staying in one corner and waiting for your husband to come home and just take care of your kids inside your place your dreams uh, you know it's um it's like you still persuaded your dreams to make it happen and despite of your situation and your marriage and the restrictions that your spouse have um, endowed you into you chose to leave and despite of his warnings and you also grew up without any father that's why you feel like that there is a part of you who feels empty and uh, alone and uh, it's like you came from an orphanage uh, during at that time in your first uh, in your first life or you grew up without any without any other parent that's why you um that's why you grew up a little bit uh, you know like a, not really disturbed but there's something awfully missing about you and that you're still looking for this kind of love there are some lessons and blessings in the past that you are still trying to you know to learn and be thankful for but then you're a natural voyager you want to travel explore the world and you want to see most parts and people have appreciated your gifts because it's not just about making herbs or making some medicines for those sick people but you've also discovered to yourself that you are so good at numbers calculations and um, navigation as well so those wisdom or those intelligence that uh well during at that time of course um it's so rare for other people to possess it so you were invited by a lot of people known people you know 
and um, yeah, but you were actually known because of the, uh, you know, the word of mouth that other people have passed on upon, and they, you know, they really adore your gifts and they really adore you, being a unique person that you are, and you were so happy with your, you know, with the, the way how your life went on, because your uh, your husband have tried to belittle you and have tried to um, diminish your confidence before that you are you know that you will just come back to him and you you will just come back with the you know um, begging for him to accept you again and that nothing really happened to your exploration and that he will just laugh at your face as this is what have embedded in your mind that this is what you should be proving him wrong this part of this that you you know you kind of miss your kids and you also miss your family but not your ex-husband or not your husband at that point and you were not yet done because your knowledge in in numbers let's say in an accounting and everything else it helped a lot of people and even um some some new inventions during at that time about numbers and calculations the cash and everything you know and um, you have led um, a very significant milestone for the first 10 years of your life exploring. And it's not just about health, but you have also led something about the, you know, in the field of mathematics or, or numbers or calculations or something like that. And you've lived like a free, like a free soul, despite of all the invitations of other people to, you know, for you to stay there, to work for them, to do this, to do that. You just wanted to be free. You just want to fully explore your life until that you're, you know, that you've already reached up your horizon and fully fulfilled your life mission. And you even served the palace, or you even served the uh, the government, um, you know, with uh, with your knowledge. And you have conquered much of a what a normal person can do despite of your defects okay because i feel like you have a shorter leg than the other and uh, you were actually known for that to other people and uh, the words have traveled from one land to another and you have visited several cities or countries as well and in your other past lives uh, well, you were a Native American. You're also a writer, but this was but this was already like an uh, like a um, like a like an earlier age or modern age already. But um, but during the time that you were, uh, hmm, you're one of the Romans when you were, um, you know, when you were uh, like an herbalist and while well, you were exploring yourself before. But one thing that you never really discovered is that who are your parents and who's your father? You have tried to search for your, you know, for your origin and you have tried to search for the, uh, the root of your, of your life and the root of your family. But then the main thing here is you never really discovered it part of yourself and you feel like that you have wandered so far and by the time that you have already gathered back or that you have already made your made your journey and when you have made your your way back home it seems like the you know the words of your husband before really he really um you know uh what do you call this like uh, made it happen that in the um only the first one only your eldest did, uh, did remember you but the youngest he erased you from their memories but it's the eldest who actually remembered you and it was more of a very painful comeback because even though you have chosen to free up yourself or you have chosen your dreams over your family, this is, you know, like you will still go back to where you really came from. And you don't want to, you know, have the same pattern as your father 
or as you that you have missed out your father that you don't even know who is your you know who's your uh, parent who are your parents and you don't want your you know your kids to grow like that you know that there are a lot of things that you have you know lack thereof being their mother but you have chosen to be stronger and uh, search for that missing part of you so that when you you know so that when you get old which is you're already old when you come back there won't be any regrets and that you can say that <coughs> at that time this is what I have made for myself and this is what I have done for myself which is right now you know <coughs> the person that you're with right now is kind of a not really supportive of all your ordeals and as they keep on standing um, against your way or blocking your way with your with your dreams with your ambitions and you can't really hear anything but you know like belittling you or they always put you down and even from your own family that you feel like for some other people you know families are very supportive of their siblings or their daughters or or sons but with your family it's like they are the first ones who will be putting you down or they are the first ones who don't really believe in you so uh, you know the main lesson here is you did not really deceive your your spouse in the past but you did not really made it back at the, you know the right time and your kids have grown without you and um, it's already hard for them to you know to get close to you since that their father have already brainwashed them and in this lifetime, you keep on having a lot of failed relationships because you feel like something is off. You have that big trust issues and you feel like something is not really right in every relationship that you got into. Or if you're already in a relationship right now, you feel like, you know, like you keep on comparing yourself to other people and a large part of you feels so unfulfilled. It's only good at the beginning. It was only like very sound and happy. The harmony is only at the beginning, the first few years of your life. And then later on, the rest of it were full of nightmares and full of agony and, you know, and pain and anguish. And not to mention that there has been some occasional separations because of the uh, deceptions that you have caught them in and that they were never really, um, you know, they were never really... Um, honest with you you are a good mother but then you feel like uh, there's more that you can do for yourself that there is something else that you can just open yourself up and reach more potential and that you are more than just a housewife that you're just more than just an accountant or that you're just more than just whatever your profession is right now the horizon is actually endless and chances are boundless and it's not yet too late for you to go and reach that far and prove something to yourself. But the only thing that's missing is that you never really found out about your father. And you, when it comes to your family, if you will be looking for their support and if you will be looking for their, for their love, um, this is something that you need to set aside for a little while until that you can prove something to yourself and prove something to them. That's the only time that you will be winning their you know their their love and attention and their belief and trust and respect but until then it, it, if you will just stay in one corner and believe in whatever your partner is saying to you right now nothing is going to happen to you okay and you will always suffer from an unrequited love because this is already a pattern your past life and then your present life right now it's you know it's really matching because you have suffered from an unrequited love from your family and from your husband who looked down on you and you are all, you, and you are still suffering from the same right now that you keep on looking for love you keep on looking for somebody who will value you and for somebody who will be supportive of you but then the problem here is that you you are the only one who could give that to yourself okay 
Anyway, that's it for you for this retrograde Libra. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live video calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. You may also offer this same kind of reading. Just go and visit the uh, tarot card reading service page. And all the details that you need are already there. Alright? Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing to my channel and my videos. Blessings to you.